In this video, Ask F5 shows you how to use VMware vSphere 7.0 to deploy a Big IP OVA template to a folder within the vSphere inventory list. Before we begin, note that the options in this video, such as compute resource configuration, CPU and memory deployment options, storage policy, and network configuration are all environment specific, and the examples provided in this video may not suit your environment. Refer to your vendor documentation and your VMware vSphere administrator for specific guidance. You can deploy to any inventory object that is a valid parent object of a virtual machine, such as a data center, folder, cluster, resource pool, or host. For more information, refer to the documentation link in the description to this video. From your vSphere client software, select a folder where you want to deploy the Big IP virtual machine. In the Actions menu, select Deploy OVF Template. Select Local File, then select Upload Files. Locate and select the Big IP OVA file that you downloaded, then select Open. Then select Next. Enter a unique name for the virtual machine name. Then select Next. Select the resource to run the deployed virtual machine, then select Next. Note, in this example, I'm ignoring the certificate warning. For more information about this warning, see this article linked in the description below. Verify the OVA template details, then select Next. Review and accept the license agreement, and then select Next. Select a CPU and memory deployment option, and then select Next. Select a virtual disk format and data store for your OVA files, and then select Next. Note, ensure that the data store you select has enough free space to accommodate the Big IP virtual machine. For more information, refer to this article, linked in the description below. On the Select Networks page, select the network for each of the pre-configured source networks, then select Next. The OVA template is pre-configured with four virtual network interfaces. In this example, the Big IP will be deployed in a one-arm configuration, which means that the virtual servers and the load-balanced servers will share the same VLAN. For more information about one-arm deployments, refer to this article, linked in the description below. On the Ready to Complete page, confirm your configuration selections and then select Finish. On the Recent Tasks portion of the vSphere client window, you can observe the import OVF package progress. After the import OVF package task is complete, select the VMs tab at the top of the vSphere client page. Select the newly deployed Big IP image from the list of virtual machines. Select the Power On icon and then select Launch Web Console. Note that the Web Console will open in a new browser tab. When the Big IP has completed the boot process, you will see the localhost login prompt. On installation, the Big IP system creates a default root user account with the password default, which you are required to change immediately. The new password that you select must meet the minimum password policy requirements. For more information, refer to these articles linked in the description below. At the login prompt, enter the word root and then select enter. At the password prompt, enter the word default and then select enter. When prompted to change your password, enter the current Big IP password again, the word default, and then select enter. At the new Big IP password prompt, enter your new password and then select enter. At the retype the new Big IP password prompt, retype your new password and then select enter. You can now set the management IP address using the config command. To learn how to do that, watch this video linked in the description below. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or send us an email. Please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos on this channel. Thanks.